going once, going twice. So I gotta get in, I gotta get in. The price of my soul is worth a ticket to heaven. I gotta get in, I gotta get in. Hey y'all, this is Cleone coming back to you about the gospel rap anointed video blog series. So I did some of my research and it was so much fun. I, I really had a great time looking at it. Um, so this um, blog is not going to be very detailed because we truly say we don't have the time for that. We don't have the time for that. So we just I just want to get right to the point. Is gospel rap anointed? And also I'm going to highlight two amazing gospel rappers who love the Lord. Number one is Jay Spence. He's from Buffalo, New York. And our second brother is B. Rady from North Bay, right here in Ontario. So you know what? Why am I even doing this? Is it because I want to be a rapper? want to let the people know that I'm a rapper? No, I'm not a rapper. I just love to praise God. And I really believe it's important as a, as a woman of God who loves the Lord that we support each other. We be iron who sharpens iron. And I just want to sharpen my brothers who are doing the right thing for the Lord and who are going out there planting seeds. Planting seeds. So here I go. This is what I found. So let's, before I talk about gospel rap, let's first talk about gospel music. Gospel, according to Wikipedia, gospel music is a form of music that has been written to express either the personal or communal belief regarding Christian life and faith. Some of the common themes of Christian music include praise, worship, penitence, lament, and its forms it vary across the world. Gospel music should have the following elements. Number one, it should edify the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 14.26 says, How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you hath a song, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edify. Number two, it should testify of the wonders of God, also known as the testimony. 1 Chronicles 16.9 Sing unto him, sing songs unto him, talk you of his wondrous works. Number three, it should be biblically sound. Titus 2.1 But speak thou the things which become sound doctrines. Number four, it should be a form of praise, a worship to God. Psalms 34 Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Number five, it should give glory, it should give all glory to Christ and therefore should be God-centered. Isaiah 42, 8. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. And six, it should usher in the presence of God. It should prepare one to receive the gospel or it should lead one to meditate upon the things of God. Acts 16.25, this is an example of Paul in prison where it says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. So, now that we talked about gospel music, what is gospel rap? Well, let's turn to Ephesians 5.19 which says, speaking to yourselves in songs and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Notice, the scripture talks about five types of music, three involving speaking, not singing. So let's talk about the song. What is a song? Well, the word song comes from the Greek word psalmos, which means poem, sung with accompaniment of strings. So I propose that gospel rap is actually poetry, or a modern day song. You know, there are 55 different types of poetry, but rap represents the type of poetry that's called rhythmic poetry which is defined as, as follows, which is a rhyming poem has a repetition of the same or similar sounds of two or more words, two or more words often at the end of the line. So it's like saying, one time for your mind, wonder what you know, Jesus is, oh, God, so kind. This is what I praise because he is my, he's my Lord, and he's God, and he's okay. Whatever. 
So it's something like that. It's, you see the end of the word, and then so like when you go back to the when you go back to the book of Psalms, a book of poetry, you will notice that the book of Psalms takes on five different styles. Even though though that the Bible, when it talks about poetry, there is actually following the form as it's called poetic parallelism. It's not rhythmic poetry, but it's it's a different type of poetry. But it does take on these styles. So number one, the Psalms are didactic, right? So they're either psalms of teaching and instruction. Number two, they're liturgical, which are responsive readings for use in special services. Number three, they're meditation. Um, the ancient Hebrews were given to meditations which spirit finds expression in many of the psalms. Four, praise and devotion. So they could be psalms of joyful praise. And five, it's a pr prayer or petition. Like I know in Psalm, I can't remember what Psalm, but it's like, Hear my cry, O Lord, attend unto my prayer from the ends of the earth, will I cry unto thee from my, uh, when my heart is overwhelmed. You know, like it talks about, there are different prayers, psalms that take on different styles. So in gospel rap, the most prevalent styles in today's gospel rap would be didactic, so they're teaching, um, teaching or giving instruction, meditation, well you know what meditation's about, and, or it's praise and devotion. Um, like I said, though it's not the same type of poetry, um, like parallel, poetic parallelism, it's a rhythmic poetry. So it's still poetry. So now that we understand that gospel rap is action poetry, set to music, let's talk, let's briefly talk about secular rap. Well, secular rap, or MCing, is one element of the hip-hop culture, which is a phrase that was coined in the 70s to describe these four elements. There are four pillars of hip-hop culture. One, MCing or MCing. Two, DJing. Three, B-boying. Four, graffiti writing. Some other mannerisms that are that are quite prevalent in secular hip hop are the following: arrogance, pride, and self-promotion. Like, look at me! Don't you see? I got the dollar dollar bills, yo. This is how I go. This is how I gotta go. Irks, rewind. No. And then it also shows some self-centeredness, centeredness, and self-glorification, narcissism. And honestly, as a Christian, displaying these characteristics in your music are contrary to the lifestyle of Christ, you know, the lifestyle and culture of Christianity, because our whole life was to ensure that all glory goes to Christ. The phrase hip-hop was used to describe a culture, not a genre of music. That is why I don't support the phrase hip-hop, because as a Christian, you are living and representing a lifestyle or culture that is associated to Christ, and technically you don't have the ability to represent two cultures at the same time. However, let's talk about one element of the culture, MCing or rapping. Rapping, also referred to as MCing or MCing, is a vocal a vocal style in which the artist speaks lyrically, in rhyme and verse, generally to an instrumental or synthesized beat. Wait a minute, let's go back a bit. So let's go back to Ephesians 5.19. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. So we have a minute. Rapping, though, a phrase coined in the 70s, began way back, way before some man decided to label it as such. Scripturally, rapping is speaking lyrically. Irks, 
Rapping is poetry. Rapping is a song. Rapping is therefore anointed. It's of God. We know that music from the beginning was created to glorify God. But the enemy has perverted this art form to glorify himself and cause and anything that's anti-God and cause people with their gifts to get glorify themselves, which is not God. You need to revert all glory to Him. And, like, don't get me wrong, not all gospel rappers of God. Some, though they're using gospel lyrics, they're influenced by the same spirit that drives many secular MCs, which displays pride and self-glory and arrogance, and truly, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. <laughs> However, I want to talk about one artist. I truly love who loves the Lord and has an excellent spirit, Brother Jay Spence, who recently came out with um, the gospel rap album Ascension. He's from Buffalo, New York, and you might have no you might have noticed that I had his music playing in the background, um, but I just want to go through one of his songs, which is called So in Love. Um, which is an example of a praise and devotion song. So um, let me just go to his song so you can get a hear a little bit of this tune, you know? Hold on one second. Alright guys, so I'm going to get this song that I really like. I really, it's called So In Love. It's from Jay Spence from the Ascension album. So let's, uh, let's run this track right now. I'm losing my mind. Let's go into the second verse Think right over So in love with you. Don't know what to do I'm losing my mind Think about you all the time No, this, this can't be real. real I don't, I don't understand this piece, but you made it be still You alone made my cloudy skies oh so clear And now I'm so open cause you closed off this So here and now, I make my proclamation That I wanna be close to you in every possible way Cause you are the only one that brightens up my day Every time I hear your name, I get caught up in the haze I'm a fan, <laughs> screaming in the front row Moving like you, singing all the words that I know is real At the mention of your name, my heart departs from pain that enters the phase of praise yeah. I'm amazed by your ways and all of your grace My life you restored and you strengthened my faith You got me so open, nothing left to do Infatuated, so gone, so into you <laughs> So in love all right. you So that was that song um, I'm just gonna go through it But I'm turn it down a little bit Alright, let's go through the song Let's go through that verse What does it say? This psalm is an example of pray, a praise and devotion song. So it says, nah, this can't be real. I don't understand this piece, but you made it be still. You alone made my cloudy skies oh so clear, and now I'm so open, cause you closed away fear. So here and now I make proclamation that I wanna be so close to you in every possible way, cause you are the only one that brightens up my day. Every day I hear your name and I get caught up in the haze. I'm a fan, screaming in the front row, moving like you, singing all the words I know. It's real. At the mention of your name, my heart departs from pain and enters the phase of praise. I'm amazed by your ways, all of your grace. My life you restored and strengthened my faith. You got me so open, nothing left to do. Effactuated, so gone. That's why I'm so into you. You know, this song is a beautiful song. It glorifies God, and it's all about Him. Um, the second rapper, gospel rapper I wanted to talk about was my Canadian brother, B. Ray B. He's from North Bay, Ontario. <laughs> I know, I'm such a nerd. Anyway, so before we go into his interview, let's hear some of the lyrics from his song, Need Your Healing, um, which has his father singing in the background. This is a beautiful example of a didactic song, a song of teaching and instruction. So let's go to that song now. Told yourself you had enough of life, you want to give it up. But Jesus Christ, he spilled the cup so we can live and soak it up. Jesus Christ, he paid the price, you only got one chance to make it right. Like day is day, night is night, it's coming on as fast as life. You deal with pain and hide your hurt, don't really know how much you're worth. You're feeling cold just like dessert, you're broken now so you hit the dirt. You want to hurt this life but cause it hurts, suicidal thoughts make you go berserk. Need your healing, 
Those are thoughts are hard to break, so don't think twice of those mistakes. It's time to make a double take, cause your life is full of sin and hate. It's a dark state, kick out the blade. It's time to break the sin and hate and illuminate for God's good way and take the time to pray and say. Alright, so that was that song. So let's turn it down a little. I want to just go through some of the lyrics that he's singing. He's like, here it is, first verse. Sometimes you feel like you're, sometimes you feel like you're alone, like everyone is mono monotone, just looking for a clearing zone to clear your heart, mind, your soul. You told yourself you had enough of life. You want to give it up. But Jesus Christ, he splits the cup so we could live and soak it up. Jesus Christ, he paid the price. You only got one chance to make it right. Like day is day and night is night. It's come and gone as fast as life. You deal with the pain and hide your hurt. You don't really know how much you're feeling. Cold, just like dessert. You're broken now. So you hit the dirt. You want to avert this life of constant hurt. Suicidal thoughts makes you go berserk. But God's got a line of social work that will clean up, clean and jerk your sinful work. If you lift him up and put him first, he'll rearrange your pain and hurts. Just simply say these healing words that'll make you feel better worse. You know, this song is a really beautiful song because it just talks to people who are dealing with suicidal thoughts and, you know, it's ministering to them and letting them know that Jesus can bring the healing. And um, so, and, you know, it's a really beautiful song. I really like it. So let's go into his interview and let's talk about what, um, you know, what Mr. B. Rady says and about why he got started and everything. So hope you enjoy it. See you very soon. North Bay, Ontario. Well, really, I chose the name B. Rady because it's original. I just wanted to be original, and it stuck with me in high school, and that's really why I picked the name B. Rady. It just just kind of made me me. That's who I am, right? It's my name, but I just added a hyphen. Well, I started rapping when I was 11 years old, actually. I fractured my skull in three places, and... God just really ministered in my life from then. I never was into music until the a my accident actually happened. And God really brought music into my life and said, this is something I want you to do. And everything just came together since then. So that's why I started rapping. It's because God is my main, my main source. Well, I hope to reach people and as I go towards my career, reach people along the way. I'd like to just, uh, yeah, reach out to people. That's really what I'd like to do. Okay. And what message do you want to tell them? What are you trying to, I guess, yeah, what's the message you're trying to tell them to these people that you're reaching? Well, I want, I want to spread some positive stuff because it's like, you know, there's too much negative in this world. And I, this, I hope that with mm -hmm. my lyrics, with my lyrics and the abilities that God gave me, I can just show people that there's more positive in this world than than negative and that we can overcome the negative well that's pretty easy for me my inspiration comes <laughs> comes from god that's where my inspiration comes uh, from i get my songs from god as well you know i pray about it and uh you know god gives god gives my dad songs in his dreams and god gives me songs when i'm when I'm just praying and I'm asking God just to, just to lead me. Oh, well, that song just, wow, God just moved with that song. I was just at a buddy's house of mine, and, uh, and I went there, and I was sitting around, and God just said, I want you to write this down, and I had no instrumental, I had no beat for it at the time, and then I just wrote, I started writing some down, and then I came home, and then I, then the next day I went to my 
my other friend's house and he said, well, I know this guy. He, uh, he makes instrumentals and he doesn't have anybody to write songs for him. So he gave me a couple instrumentals and one of the instrumentals that I got was the one for Need Your Healing. And it just went right along with it. So I prayed about it and I, uh, I, wrote, I wrote the song and I, also, I wrote the chorus and I also asked my dad if he could think of something. So he prayed about it, and God, God gave him a God gave him a verse, a verse for the song of singing, and basically God was really pressing upon my heart to do a song, uh, showing people that suicide is a big deal in our our society right yeah. now, you know, and people need to know that there is people every single minute attempting or killing themselves, and. Oh my gosh. It's just something that God really wants to get across to this world that there's a better way. You know, I believe that gospel rap is from God, really. Uh, God, God gave everybody abilities and talents, and he, he said to use our talents. And if we don't use our talents, he'll give them to somebody else. And, you know, we need to use our talents to glorify God. And if you're a Christian rap artist or a gospel rap artist, you're going to use that talent to glorify God. Mm. And God can just use that talent. He can give you the words to say. He can he can just anoint that music if you just let him and you let God take control. Mm. And it it really matters because with with gospel rap I can I can reach people that necessarily won't be reached with hymnals or, you know, uh gospel country and all this kind of other kind of music I'm not I'm trying to reach where no one will go where no one will step their foot in well if it wasn't for my family supporting me I probably would have stopped by now um, the, su the support of my family actually really helped me go further and move further on in in what I do you know, my mom kept telling me never to give up. My dad said never give up. My sisters encouraged me. And I just I just thank God for that encouragement, that support because if it wasn't for my family, I would have been I would have stopped by now. Uh, my question is why do you think it's important for Christians to listen to gospel music or or music with lyrics that glorify God? What does it do to our spirit? And what does it do to our walk? Well, wow. I believe that if you're listening to gospel music, it'll have a positive effect on your life. Uh, if you're around negative all the time and you're listening to negative music, your mind starts getting negative. And that negative actually becomes a toxin in your mind becomes a toxin and it consumes your mind and that's all you ever think about is negativity. But if we are going around and we're listening to gospel music that actually have a purpose and a positive meaning, then our mind will get that positive and start uplifting us. And soon we won't want to be around the negative and not want to hear negative. We'll always want to be positive and think on the bright side of things instead of the dark side of things. I think that gospel music really has an impact on a Christian's walk with God. You know, we get we get sermons at church, but then there's that time where you're just by yourself and that's all you can think all you can think about God is listening to music, right? You get in that zone of worship just by that worship song and you're hearing the words and it's positive and that gets you in your zone of worship. I believe, yeah, that it does have a big impact on a Christian's Find walk you. with when God. When is your album coming out? What's up? Okay, well, I have, I have MySpace. I do have MySpace. It's under, okay. it's under B Rady, and I also have a Facebook fan page. It's also under B Rady. You can. Uh, cool. Um, and I'm saying in two months my CD will be out. Awesome! To God be the glory. So we're going to be hearing some be ready, sitting around, one time for your mind. Okay. Right. <laughs> so I can assume that you can say that gospel rap is definitely anointed. Any last words? Uh, no last words.
words, but I'll just agree with you. Yes, gospel rap is anointed. Why do I feel the way that I do? It's like every day I'm feeling blue. I need something inside of me to break me free and break me loose. I'm going crazy in this cage. Every single day I rage. It's like I'm on a center stage, embarrassed, full of hurt and shame. Don't mind me if I explain. I took the time to pray today for Jesus Christ to change my ways. Now Jesus Christ is in my veins. So be ready. It was good talking to you. Yes. And like I and like we said, gospel rap is definitely anointed. Thank you. That's it for so, Fever Two fans. We're out. I hope you enjoy that interview and stay tuned. We got some more. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Peace. Awesome. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. What a blessing. I love that brother of mine. All right. You see, these men are just using their natural gifts that God has given them to glorify Jesus. This music form may not directly win souls. Because we know it's the foolishness of preaching that wins souls. But you know what it will do? It will plant seeds. And it will provide opportunities for these artists and, and ministers. Just like Paul and Silas in jail in Acts 19.26. For them to be a, a witness to people from this culture. So in general, I really think is of supreme importance that we support our music, our music ministers, and keep them in constant prayer because the enemy attacks them with the spirit of pride constantly, and many of them falling away, losing it. You know, many of them are falling away and losing out and selling out just to gain the accolades of this world, and really, truly, that's not cool. It's not cool. And so in conclusion, I want to call gospel rap poetry, speaking lyrically, the modern day song which is anointed by God. So God bless you. Kind of want to end this off with, you know how I always go. You know how I always go. I always try. It's just like I said, I'm going to try a little quick little freestyle, you know, because I just love to praise the Lord. Come on, dude. I really want to praise him every day. Jesus is the Christ, and the only reason why I need him today is the same. Everything you're in, he really wants to make you really be free to be so you could see every day that Jesus is the only reason why you could be free and be clean inside. I really want to know to stop, stop hiding your pain. I want to let you know about Jesus Christ, is he is the only way. He is the Christ and he's Lord and God today. He is your son, the victory won, and that is why we gotta praise him every day because we know he's the holy one and he's the reason why I praise him every day. Know that the Jesus is the only way. This is why I say I pray in his name. Jonah, Jesus is the Christ and he's Lord today, always, every day, praising his name. So what you gotta say when we come up and praise his name, we lift his name, we glorify his name because we know that he's God and he's God who reigns. We know a heart he can tame, and that is why Jesus is the same today, forever, ever, ever, day, and all the God he's got, and he's got a way. So we praise him, we love his name. Jesus is our God, and he's God who reigns in our life. He's the one who gave us new sight, and that is why we just want to do what's right. We want to lift his name, we want to praise his name, we want to lift him up, we want to let them know he's the same, and he's God. He was yesterday the same from the yesterday to the day. He's the God who reigns. That is what we praise. Him. He's the one who tamed my heart right from the start, and that is why I gotta praise him. Will he unmarked with his blood? I thank you, Jesus, Lord God, that you love me and that you really, really wanted to make me free so I could be a better me. So, this is why I gotta praise him. This is why I let people know that they could see with new eyes. I wanna let you know, stop being so blind. The devil is a liar, the devil is a liar. He really wants you to say, set you on fire. He wants to make you be in some pain, shame, everything really insane. I wanna let you know that Jesus is not lame, but he is the God and he's God the same. So, open your eyes. Don't die in the sin. Don't let the devil make you stay with it. The sin within. Just come to him and just give him your life. He removed the strife. So that is what I want to let you know. He's right. And that is why I'm praising everywhere, every day, every day. I'm to let you know about the Holy Ghost way. The Acts 238 way. I praise him, Lord, today. 
This is what I got a lot to say. Wanna let the people know about the Holy Ghost way. This is what I gotta go. Gotta let you know. Jesus is the Christ. He's the way I go. And that is why I had a praise him. I say so. Oh, oh. I go. I'm the end. Going Bye. Twice, May God so bless you. I hope you enjoyed this gospel rap anointed little video blog that I put together. I just want to continue to keep sharpening my brothers and my sisters who embrace this music. You know what? Stay focused. Keep your mind on Christ and let God get the glory. It's not about you. It's about Jesus. God bless you. Take care. Yes. 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 Yes.